Okay, this one's called the Valderdack. Valderdack? Uh, let's see. When Marquise Duori, du, you, um, when the Marquise Duori, a noble emissary of the King of France, is attacked and abandoned in the remote countryside, he finds refuge at an eerie, isolated manor. The resident family, reluctant to take him in, exhibits strange behavior as they wait the imminent return of their father, Gorsha. But what begins simply as a strange, but was simply. But what begins simply as strange quickly devolves into a full-fledged nightmare when Gorsha returns, seemingly no longer himself. Adapted from the novella that predates Bram Stoker's Dracula by over half a century, the Volderdak is an atmospheric, unexpected, seasonal experience that will leave you reeling and giddy in equal measure. Yeah, I'm trying to work on my ASMR. Uh, you know, that's a thing. You know, people people wanted me to keep it down just a little. So I'm, just, I'm just trying. I'm trying new things. Trying new things. New things. All right, let's check this. Let's check out the Volder deck. I'm pretty sure that's not how you pronounce it, though. Oh. 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 Ouvrez-moi, pour l'amour du ciel. J'ai été attaqué par des brigands. Nous n'ouvrons cette porte à personne. Empruntez le sentier vers l'ouest. Vous rencontrerez la demeure du vieux Gorcha. Que faites-vous Et la danse. C'est ridicule. Why do motherfuckers always look pale as fuck when they're coming from France? I'm just curious. Like that Johnny Depp movie, that motherfucker looked pale as fuck. Do they put like a whole bunch of powder on their shit? To make them look like they're dead whores? I, I'm, I'm just asking, because, man, they just, they look dead. Arrêtez. Mes enfants, je pars. Attendez-moi six jours. Mais si jamais ce dont Dieu vous garde, je, je revenais après ces six jours révolus. Je vous ordonne d'oublier que j'étais votre père et de ne point me laisser entrer. Car alors... Je ne serai plus qu'un maudit Vourdalac. Qu'est-ce qu'un Vourdalac Oh, talk about a facial. C'est une charogne infâme. Revenue parmi nous dans l'unique but de sucer notre sang. Un Vourdalac ne s'attaque pas à n'importe qui, monsieur. Il se délecte particulièrement du sang de ses parents proches et des êtres qui lui sont les plus chers. Tout allait bien ici avant votre arrivée. C'est vous, étranger, qui avez porté le malheur sur notre famille. Via père n'est pas tout pour ses enfants. Il n'est rien. What the fuck? What is, is he supposed to be like a vampire or like a fucking? Zombie or something? Let's see. The Family of the Boulder Deck is a gothic novella by Aleske Konstantinovich Tosky, written in 1839 in French. Originally entitled La Familia de Vorderdag, a fragmented Indian de Moyes wrote it on a trip from France from Frankfurt where he was attached to the Russian embassy. I mean, that doesn't really... Okay. The word Vorderdag occurs first in Pushkin, early work, 19th century... Taken up by Russian literary language, following Pushkin's and distortion of words, referring to vampires. Okay, originally probably the werewolves in Slavic and Balkan folklore. Uh, okay, that makes sense because that because it makes sense that he looks like Nosferatu. He doesn't look. He doesn't, you know. This right here gave me a really big no 
much for us to Via père n'est pas tout pour ses enfants. Damn right. Il n'est so rien. Right there. And that it, that just reminded me of vampires, of vampires. Il n'est rien. Like he gonna bite that fucking kid's head off. Like that's that's what's happening. Like that's what's gonna happen. So referring, so uh, it is a distortion of words referring to vampires. Uh, the novella became the basis of I War Dog, one of the three parts of Mario Bava's 1963 film Black Sabbath, featuring Boris Karloff in the 72 Italian Spanish film The Night of the Devils, also based on Tosa's story. Uh, a glancing reference to the novella occurs in Guy Wilson's 2012 film Werewolf the Beast Among Us when the undead victim of a werewolf attack arises and is shot by the grandson by the great hunter who exclaims, I hate goddamn vulture back. Okay. Why is there no 1080 or higher resolution? I would assume because they want to keep it look like it's they it was shot on film. So you would want to have it like a 720 to keep to make it to have this kind of look where it's all dull and it looks like like natural. It looks like it was shot. It looks like a VCR tape, like a VHS tape. So I kind of appreciate there's no 1080 high resolution on this or 4K because I think that would definitely take away from this. This whole movie is is feels and looks like it's going to be a throwback to like the 1970s and 1980s vampire movies. I I fucking I I can't wait to see this shit. This shit looks fire. But let's see what they say. Oh, this replies. Uh, I know I don't miss SD. Yeah, literally old movie. This is a really old movie, and for some reason, it's being re-advertised. I can't watch this trailer at such resolution. My monitor is 38 4K, so it looks bad on it. Is this an old movie? I think it was released. Yeah, I think it was like two years ago, but now they finally got distribution. But this looks fire. I can't wait. Uh, no release date. Looks dope, though. Looks fucking dope. 